Season six also brings exciting new agendas and Invincible Dirk, but more on that one later. So for now, get out there and get to level 40 because Dark Matter Josh Giddy is waiting for you. And trust me, this card can do just about everything. As with every new season in NBA 2K22, we drop new music for... 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. A view of our setting here tonight, as you can see the lights of stunning downtown Atlanta. Welcome to Wednesday night's NBA action here on 2K Sports. And along with Grant Hill and Doris Burke, I'm Brian Anderson, joined by Ali LaForce, our reporter. Ali, take it away. Brian, as the NBA pivots away from the post and towards the perimeter, we're seeing more teams employ three-guard lineups to great effect, trading some size for skill. We'll see if the trend continues, but guys, for now, it seems that even if there's only one ball, having multiple ball handlers can be very effective. Well, very interesting, Ali. Good stuff there. Thank you. And time for the power rankings. Latter half of February, Fascinating to see where teams stack up during this part of the season. They're holding in the same spot, looking to climb the rankings. Well, right now for the Hawks, they're not being questioned any longer. This is a strong team, and one that is poised to be a big-time threat moving forward. All right, now the opening lineup for Phoenix. Paul and Booker, the talented backcourt. Crowder and Aiton, the bigs. And it's Bridges in at the small forward position. And for Atlanta... Collins at the four with Capella at center. In the backcourt, Young and Bogdanovich. So Phoenix will get the first possession. Booker against Bogdanovich. Let's it fly. He hits the back iron and sinks it. Boy, this guy's operating like a 10-year vet. Booker making all the right decisions almost immediately. Collins outside. Pass to Young. Banked it in off the glass. Courageous play by Young. I mean, he goes inside and gets past the contact to his shot. Aiden passes to Paul. That one goes. Just Count it. Well, hit a man in stride. That is a textbook delivery. And about a minute gone in the first quarter. Young, the pass to Bogdanovich. The shot misses. Now the Suns take it the other way. Their last game, a win against the Magic. Looking to carry it into this one. And you'd have to think that luck played a part in that one. I mean, the opponent had an off night at the defensive end for sure. Well, give them some credit for taking advantage of a weak defense and capitalizing on every mistake. Knocks it loose. Paul with a steal. Bridges outside. Crowder outside. Booker, the pass to Paul. Six on the shot clock. Here's Aiton. And the Suns getting another bucket right there. Well, the form and the touch and the mid-range from DeAndre Aiton. This guy is special. And he's going for the oop here. Crowder with a steal. On the wing, Crowder jacks up a three. The rebound by the Hawks. Well, they put up a nice win against Chicago last time out. And in that game, it wasn't just the starters who played a big part. They got a ton of points off the bench. When you get that kind of a complete effort, that's a game you're going to win far more often than not. You know, by the time Bogdan Bogdanovich arrived in the NBA, he was already a well-seasoned pro, Grant. Yeah, he had an impressive run in a number of European leagues, amassing a ton of awards and championships. So he definitely knew what he was getting into when he came stateside to play with the rest of the best. The Hawks trailing to the middle. 
Booker defending. Outside Young. Shot clock at six. The Hawks need to get one up here. The baseline, Jay. Capella can't get it to go. The Suns have gone three of five shooting so far. Paul finds Aiden. Back to Paul. There's the three. And that's collected by Trey Young. The Hawks have gone two of four so far. Inside. Here's Collins. Well timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. But if the contact wasn't going to hold Collins down, he explodes into it and finds the shot. Paul with the bucket. Chris Paul. Just owning the painted area. If it's working, no need to change. Paul's gone two for three from the field. Pass to Bogdanovich. Back to Young. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Young's got his second basket on the night. And although Young is a smaller guard, he doesn't lack confidence, even amongst the trees. Throws it up high. Oh, and the jam by Aiden. What a connection DeAndre Aiden has with his guys. Great timing on the alley-oop. Outside Bogdanovich. Over to the wing. Capella inside. It's covered by eight. These teams have really gone back and forth. <laughs> yeah, five lead changes already. This one's going to be a battle for sure. Pass to Aiden. And here's Booker. Out to the right wing. Here's Paul. That one's good. Give the assist to Booker. Paul's got six. For Atlanta, they've gotten five of seven shots to fall. Young against Paul. Young, the pass to Collins. He's in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. Another lead change. Give these teams credit. They're really fighting it out. Neither team willing to give an inch, and neither able to seize the momentum. This has been a fascinating one to watch. Booker can't get it to go. Boy, nine times out of ten, that's going in. I'm sure he surprised himself with the miss. Pass to Aiden. Paul against Bogdanovich. For three, Booker. Collins with the rebound. The Hawks leading. Down low. Capella with it. Now guarded by Booker. Here's Collins. And the layup falls. He's got six. Their defense just falls apart once the ball goes inside. Phoenix calls timeout. Their last encounter was in Phoenix. This time around, they're looking for better execution offensively. They have to avoid mistakes. Well, so many of their problems stem from the turnovers. They simply could not take care of the ball, and it cost them in that matchup. And a new group getting ready for the Suns. Sharich checks in for Aiton. Kleba comes in for Crowder. Nwaba, he's checked in for Bridges. And Payne is subbed in for Chris Paul. Now here's Payne coming off a 16-point game against Orlando. I thought his physicality was crucial, too. You know, he kept the defense on their toes and repeatedly got to the free throw line. I mean, some good stuff out here. Five of their last six buckets have come off of nice passes. Back to Young. A Kongwu, high post. Pass to Reddish. Clock at six. They get it again. For Phoenix, they've gotten seven of their first 12 shots to go. Here's Kleba. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. At his size, Dario Saric can see the floor, and he knows how to put it on time and on target. Up top, Young. Charge covers. Oh, and Johnson slams it in. Oh, man, this has been an absolute battle in the first half. Each team trying to establish itself. The lead just keeps going back and forth. Now here's Payne. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Pass to Okongwu. Now here's Young. He's guarded by Nwaba. 
Young, the pass to Hunter. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Outside Payne. Pass to Booker. Now here's Sharich. That one's good. Give the assist to Booker. Booker's got three assists in the game. And right there you see Devin Booker's feel for the game. This guy knows exactly when to give it up. Now here's Johnson. 14 points for him last game against Chicago. Here's Reddish. Takes a three. No good that time. Phoenix has gone 0 for 3 from downtown. To the inside. Sharich, the pass to Payne. And Booker out, with the out. jam. Oh, what a perfect pass to set that up. Hey, the feed might have been pretty, but the finish, that was angry. Atlanta calls timeout. You know, ever since the Orlando bubble, Payne has been a much improved player, Doris. Well, there's no doubt Cameron Payne used the momentum gained in Orlando. That confidence has carried over, and now he's finding himself a rotation player who's making contributions. Gallinari, he's checked in for the Hawks. And the change for the Suns. Struess has checked in. The Suns leading to the wing, right side. Outside Payne. Shoots over Young. The shot by Payne, no good. He expects to make every one of those, and we expect him to make them too. Here's Reddish. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Out to the right wing. Six to shoot. Here's Gallinari. Phoenix grabs the miss. To the paint. Here's Sharich. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. But one thing you love about Dario Sharich, his ability to pass as a big man. This guy has great vision and the ability to deliver the basketball. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Throw good, Sharic. And Doris Sharic, almost like a store brand version of Jokic with how he can create. Oh, that's a great description because there are some fantastic store brands. He's got that same skill set, right? This guy is always going to find a way to contribute because he's got such a well rounded offensive game. He's off on the second. You know, I think the versatility Sharic provides is big in today's NBA. This guy can play the three and the four. He can shoot from anywhere. He can also hit the glass. Very good passer. There's a lot to his game. Had he play to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. All right, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for Phoenix. Guys, right from the start, it's been apparent they're determined to establish a presence in the paint. Well, something else they've done a good job of tonight is penetrating and getting points right at the rim. Free throw is good. Young. You've got to applaud Trey Young's hustle out there on the floor. I mean, he plays a lot of minutes, but he maintains a high energy level all game long. And both free throws good for Young. One place you really see Trey Young's work ethic shine through is on the offensive end of the floor with his assist numbers. Yeah, Young does everything he can to create for his guys. He's a selfless player who wants everyone to get involved. He's got a real talent for problem-solving defenses and finding ways to get his guys good looks. Rejected by a Kongwu. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. You know, you can't ask for any better defense than that. He responded so fast to the shooter, and it stifled him. There's a minute 54 left to play in the first quarter. 
And that's collected by Trey Young. They've been just a little bit better on the glass so far, showing their tremendous work effort. Back to Johnson. Pass to Reddish. Oh, there's the alley! And stolen by Nwaba. Here's Struess. Sinks the tray. Struess. And the Suns lead by three. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Young against Payne. Now Young against Chicago. He was really on his game. And Reddish, here we go. It's hauled in by Sharich. Phoenix has gone only one of four from three-point land. Outside Payne. Got it. And it's a five-point Suns lead. Well, the defense allowed that one. He had a clear path to the cup. Pass to Okongwu. Charge against Gallinari. Here's Okongwu. Oh, thanks that one. He's 0 for 1 to start. And the Suns with possession. They're on a 14 to 6 run. Payne, pass to Kleba. Outside Nuaba. Payne with it. Five to shoot. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Trey Young. That's his first foul of the game. And the Suns making a change here. Aiden's checked in. And so here's Phoenix. Leading by five. Shot clock at six. Back to Payne. The three is up. It's not going to go for him. Let's it fly. Oh, and the release was before the buzzer. But it's off target. And that does it for the first quarter. The Suns on top, up by five. Stay with us now as we get set to bring you quarter number two after this. And he's always been a coach on the floor. Chris Paul is a communicator. With anything, uh, whether it's business, work, relationships, whatever, it's communication. And I think that's something that we're doing an amazing job of right now. And that's communicating, talking through things, and making sure, even when it gets tough, that we continue to communicate. Never shy, Grant. Never shy indeed. Always holding himself and his teammates accountable. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter of action so far. All right, guys, what stands out to you from the Suns in this one? Defensively, their gambles are paying off. Jumping passing lanes and pressuring ball handlers. And a few of those led to quick scores at the other end. Really active first quarter for them. On the court right now, second quarter for the Suns. Maxi Kleba out there with David Nwaba. Then it's DeAndre Ayton. Then there's Chris Paul. And it's Struess in at the two-guard spot. Ayton, no good. The Hawks trailing. He goes up high for the two-handed slam. I just love the aggressive finish. Now, I'm thinking he's sending a strong message with that jam. A chance here to catch up with Ali from the sideline. Hey, Brian, the Phoenix Suns are enjoying a renaissance. Big man DeAndre Ayton said, quote, from starters to the bench players, this team is well-balanced. And we compete. We challenge each other every day. To be honest, it's the best team I've ever been on throughout my career. Guys, they are confident. That they are, Allie. Thanks. Such confidence as a passer. He hits guys in stride. It makes it look easy. Nuaba against Johnson. Now here's Nuaba. He's guarded closely. And Aiton with the stuff. This is the kind of damage DeAndre Aiton can do if he gets the right positioning. Nicely done. Pass to Reddish. Takes a 13-footer, hits the front of the rim and out. The Suns have gotten only one of four shots to go in. Down low, 
Here's Struess. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. Brad, your dad played pro football. Do you think that players who grew up around pro sports have an advantage? Yes, B.A. Obviously, being around a professional athlete, understanding the dedication, the sacrifice, the What's work up? that goes into it, really, I think, helped me at an early age as I was developing in a different sport. Capella, he's checked in for the Hawks. Bogdanovich comes in for Johnson. For Atlanta, they've gone two of four here in the second quarter. Covered by Crowder. Just great offense. The screen freeing him up for the slam. Hey, without that screen, he doesn't get a clean look at the rim. Boy, that's a play you just practice time and time again, and that's the result of the work put in. Pass to Bridges. Gets his second attempt to go. Now he's one for two. Such a smart offensive player. Mikel Bridges assertive and focused when he gets this close. This one for three. Knocks down the long K. Reddish has got himself on the board with a three there. I'll tell you, he'll take that all day, every day. I'm sure he was shocked to find himself that wide open. Outside Paul. Bridges outside. Yes, and it's Paul with the assist that time. Paul's got his third assist of the night. Well, good position, feet set. Bridges totally ready to get the shot off in catch and shoot situations. Nicely done. Well, what he lacks in size for a typical center, he makes up for with all that athleticism. Boy, can he elevate. Outside Paul. Just five on the clock. Pass to Struess. And he lobs it up top. And they forced a shot clock violation. Great D. Hunters checked in for the Hawks. And the Suns also making a change. Devin Booker, he's checked in for Struess. For Atlanta, they've gotten five of seven shots to go in the second. Pass to Hunter. Now here's Bogdanovich. He's guarded by Paul. To the inside. Trying to go for a lob there. Excellent defense and anticipation to stop it. Booker with it. Hunter covering. Fades back. The rebound by Bogdanovich. And the Hawks shooting has been excellent so far. Around 56% to the middle. Here's Collins. The shot that time not on target. Good work defensively by Crowder. Pass to Paul. Bridges outside. And here's Aiden, defended by Bogdanovich. And Aiden gets it to go. Aiden's got four points this quarter. You can see it. Once this guy gets his rhythm, he is so hard to slow down. What an excellent night for him and his team. And here's Bogdanovich. An 11-point game for him in the win against Chicago. That three's off the mark. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Bridges passes to Crowder. Inside, here's Booker, and he knocks it down. He's three of five now from the floor. Well, you love Crowder's willingness to distribute the basketball. His vision allows him to set his teammates beautifully. Well, you think about Jake Crowder's career. He has bounced around to a few teams. But one thing we know, he's always had an impact to affect the game with his defense and with his basketball intellect. This quarter, they're doing some real damage from outside the arc. Trying to stay within striking distance here. Oh, and the jam by Aiton! Court vision, intellect, basketball IQ, the masterful distributor that is Chris Paul. And Doris Crowder's defense, a big part of what he can offer a team. Right, because he's strong enough to guard in the post. He's quick enough to guard on the perimeter. Think about it. In 2020 NBA Finals, he was asked to contain LeBron James. That's the kind of confidence coaches have in Crowder's competitive spirit defensively. 
Aiden draws the double. Here's Crowder. Collins with the defensive effort. Oh, gritty defense. Protecting the rim at all costs against a guy who has all sorts of ways to finish. The Suns have gotten 7 of 12 shots to go here in the second. Right side, Bogdanovich. Tipped away. Here's the break. And it's Crowder missing. Atlanta's got four of seven threes to go so far in this game. Collins with it. Now guarded by Aiton. To the middle. Here's Booker. And Booker with the jam. Well, DeAndre Aiton is a team first guy. And boy, does he set up the open man. Now a timeout called by Atlanta. You know, Grant, it seems like Collins is one of those guys you can depend on for a 20-10 stat line just about every night. Yeah, he's a double-double machine. He's as consistent as they come offensively, and with his hustle, his rebound numbers are never lagging. Sharich checks in for the Suns. Payne comes in for Paul. Here's Young. And from the field after that one, three for four now. Terrific design and execution, leading to an opportunity right at the rim. Bridges outside. Clock at six. Back to Payne. Pass to Bogdanovich. Back to Hunter. Here's Young, defended by Payne. And there's the call on Devin Booker. That's his first foul of the game. These calls can be so difficult for officials to make. The Hawks making a switch here. Johnson's checked in. Kleba, he's checked in for the Suns. Young against Payne. To the inside. A Kongu. And that one is hammered home! Nice passing instincts from Young. Quickly moving the ball to a guy with a wide open look. Up top, Kleba. Defended by Bogdanovich. Bridges misses. One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless abandon. Out of bounds, it'll go to the Sun. Waba, he's checked in for Bridges. The Suns have gotten half their shots to fall in the second. Eight for 16. Here's Nuava driving to the basket. Atlanta with a rebound. Pass to Young. The teardrop. And the layup is good. Young's got four points now in the quarter. Just so successful getting the ball inside and finding those great looks. Payne, the pass to Booker. Fires in the triple. They're shooting the three extremely well this quarter. Be fun to see if they can keep it up. Outside Young. Pass to Hunter. And he lobs it up. Oh, and Johnson slams it in. The great read between those two guys. The defense didn't stand a chance, B.A. These two teammates right here, Grant, they are connected. Now here's Sharich. He's got five. Kleba finds Payne. Six on the shot clock. Pulls it. And the Suns get it back. Shots good by Sharich. Sharich has got seven. Uh, how about the instincts of Dario Sharich? Just exceptional at getting those second chance opportunities. Here's Young. Pass to Johnson. Shot no good. Oh, great D that time from Kleba. Now Booker. That's basket number six in eight tries. By every time he goes up now, it just looks like the shot's going in. He's perfect from the field in this quarter. Young, the pass to Johnson. 
And it's Bogdanovich off the drive. Uses the glass on the layup. Give him eight. That's ten straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. Phoenix has gone two of three from the three-point line in the second. Here's Payne. Drives to the hoop. Rebounded by Johnson. He struggles shooting the rock. Yet, they're still winning. It's a good thing his teammates have played well. Bogdanovich against Nwaba. That's tipped and stolen by Nwaba. Pass to Payne. Looking to get it going. And Young pulls it down. Young's got four rebounds now. Boy, what a nightmare quarter for this guy. He's playing right into the hands of the defense at this point. Booker against Bogdanovich. Outside Booker. It's stolen by Hunter. It's an even three-on-three -three break. To the left side wing. Here's Young. And he buries that one. Back rim and in. Trust Young to put the offense on his back. He loves showing up and doing big numbers for his team. Left side Booker. Over Bogdanovich. Good D by Bogdanovich. Devin Booker. He's feeling it tonight. He's been the driving force for Phoenix. Hunting for opportunities, leading to nine points in the quarter. More 2K action in just a moment. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. It is a good game we have here after one half of play. Everybody, welcome back for our halftime show. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, and Kenny Smith. Devin Booker putting in some incredible work. He had 13 points, three rebounds, and one steal. It's been quite a night so far for him. Kenny, let's start with you. What did you think about the Suns? We have to recognize their bench play. Sometimes we overlook the second unit. But tonight, they've been the key. The coaching staff has got to be loving this. Getting that extra boost is huge. And Shaq, how about what you saw from the Hawks? They were really efficient. Great approach offensively. Their shot selection was first rate. They were always working hard to get good looks. That can't change in the second half. They need to be just as well organized as they've been so far. And that'll do it for our halftime report. Stay tuned for the second half. About to get underway. got second half action for you thus far a pretty evenly contested game boy we're seeing a tremendous game from Devin Booker you just love his patience offensively in the first half waited until he got the looks he wanted you know as a coach you can preach good shot selection but it's up to the players to execute and this guy has done just that and as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. In the backcourt, Young and Bogdanovich. Collins at the four with Capella at center. So that's the lineup for Atlanta. Here's Young. And that one's long. The Suns leading. Down low. Pass to Paul. And here's Booker. Now Aiden, guarded by Young. Count it, and the foul. That one on Young. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Shooting for Phoenix, DeAndre Aiden at the line for one. That's good from Aiden. Well, the number one pick in the 2018 NBA draft, DeAndre Aiden, is going to be a feared big man for years to come. Now here's Collins. And there's the lob. And the slam dunk by Capella. And when the time is right, Capella can get up there. Great job rising up for the bucket. Well, the Sun's shooting around 51%. That's a good number. Crowder with it, and it's Young picking him up. Good work there as it goes. 
And the Suns lead by four. In a tight game, they wanted to make sure of that possession. And the call will be against John Collins. That's his first foul. And this kind of selflessness is great to see. Textbook positioning to draw the charge. Here's Paul. He's got six. To the paint. And Aiton with the stuff. Guys, I like how assertive DeAndre Aiton is looking right now. This is allowing him to stay hot out here. Booker against Bogdanovich. Shoots from the baseline. And so the ball out of bounds. Aiton touched it last. Reddish has checked in for Bogdanovich. Cam Reddish. Goes up off the inbound, and he nails the jumper. Reddish has got his second basket of the night. Boy, that's a bang-bang play on the inbounds pass. I like those quick hitters. Paul against Young. Here's Aiton. Aiton draws the double. Booker, the pass to Paul. Reporter Bridges. Yes, and it's Paul with the assist that time. Paul's got six assists in the game. They haven't missed a beat coming out of the locker room. A perfect four for four. Time now to hear from our reporter, Allie LaForce. Thanks, Brian. DeAndre Ayton being the number one pick in 2018, his potential is obvious. With this team on the rise, he's looking to impose his will on a nightly basis. Ayton said, quote, I know how hard I work and what kind of a player I am. I'm trying to take over every possession, being more dominant every game. Oh, scary thought, Allie. Thanks. Gallinari, he's checked in for the Hawks. And the Suns also making a change. Struess, he's checked in for Booker. And I'm glad we got to see the mobile one block once more. What a play. Oh, showing no signs of giving up this lead. That block sent shockwaves into the opposition sails. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Crowder outside. Pass to Bridges. Atlanta foul. Cam Reddish. That's his second personal foul. Team third. Here's Paul. He has six. And he lobs it up to the rim. And an emphatic jam on the lob. Woo. I just love that alley-oop slam, B.A. Defense disorganized, defense pays. Time called here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. Nice game. Great performance by DeAndre Ayton. Boy, he's been relentless. And to this point, they haven't had an answer for him on the inside. Let's see if they make some adjustments coming out of the timeout. Pass to Young. Clock keeps going. Three minutes into the second half now. Can't get it to drop. The Suns go the other way with it. That's the way. In transition. And he comes up with a bucket. Young's got 14. And the defense really has no chance when Young gets in space. He's just too skilled. Paul against Capella. Takes one from 10 feet. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. That one on Capella. Some people don't give Chris Paul enough credit for his outstanding shooting. But he can knock it down. You can't give him any room. Well, Grant, Chris Paul just gets more and more reliable as a shooter, even after all these years in the league. Yeah, I mean, he's always been smart with his shots, but he has great efficiency for a guard. And he could easily put up bigger scoring numbers, but that's not his focus. That's good from Paul. There is an absolute certainty that when Chris Paul stops playing basketball, he will be in Springfield in the Hall of Fame. Wherever he's been able to play, he has been able to thrive. Paul hits them both. And with Paul, after some injuries early, 
he changed how he went about his offense. Well, you think about him coming out of college, he was very solid athletically. Still good in that department, obviously. But the vast majority of his success comes from one of the best IQs and knowledge of the game that we've ever seen. Now here's Paul. Give him eight. Soft touch off the glass. He's got ten. And now almost all their points coming from the paint. Outside Gallinari. Pass to Young. Back to Gallinari. Just three to shoot. Off target from outside. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Bridges with it. Back to Paul. And he drives in. Let's it go from deep. Struce's shot is off. For Atlanta, they've gone four of nine in the third quarter. And he throws it down with one hand. Hey, kept it simple. No reason to get fancy right now, B.A. Yeah, he's just looking to find shots and produce for his team. Struce. A chance to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. The Hawks have gotten five of ten shots to go. Let's it go from 11. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. Refusing to give up on the glass, Capella truly works for his rebounds. Pass to Aiden. Here's Struce. Puts up a three. And there's a whistle. That goes on Jay Crowder. That's his first foul of the game. And the Hawks making a change here. Johnson's checked in. Sharich checks in for the Suns. Payne comes in for Paul. For Atlanta, they've gotten six of their first 12 shots to drop in this third. Young, the pass to Capella. Gallinari with it. Picked up by Sharich. And a slam dunk by Capella. But Danilo Gallinari, obviously much more known as a scorer. But how about the court vision there? Eight inside. He's against Capella. And he's going for the lob. Hey, great communication on the lob. And the Suns lead by five. Oh, what a pass. Those two read each other really well. Looks like a play they've definitely run in practice. Pass to Gallinari. Now here's Capella. Descended by Payne. 11 feet out. Capella can't get it to go. The Suns have gotten seven of their nine shots to fall. Quality shooting in the second half. And the basket by Bridges. Boy, you have to be aggressive powering through contact. Mikel Bridges, no signs of backing away. Outside Gallinari. Pass to Young. It's hauled in by Sharich. Sharich has got five rebounds in the game. I think he's got to settle down because right now it feels like he's rushing, like he's forcing some shots. This quarter he has been completely bothered. Now here's Young. 14 points for him. Out of bounds. It'll be Phoenix's ball. Yeah, simply stated, you have to take care of the basketball, and they don't on that possession. So for the Hawks, Okongwu comes in for Capella, and Hunter subbed in for Gallinari. Kleba, he's checked in for the Suns. Nwaba comes in for Bridges. The Suns have gotten 8 of 11 shots to go in. Efficient so far in the third. Payne against Johnson. Oh, and Johnson with a block. Throws it up high. Oh, and Johnson slams it in. The pass, the catch, the slam. What a clean play. And absolutely jaw-dropping. Now here's Payne. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. Noaba rebounded by the Hawks. Akongwu's got four rebounds now. Down low. Here's Johnson. And he converts the layup. Johnson's got eight. <laughs> they are passing the ball around tremendously right now. Inside. Here's Sharich. Nice assist and nice finish. Solid play all the way around. And the Suns lead by five. Atlanta with the ball. Pass to Johnson. Here's Reddish. And just a great job of getting there first and absorbing the contact. Bogdanovich has checked in for Trey Young.
Payne with it. He takes it in. It's blocked. Here's a Kongwu. Pass to Reddish. Outside Hunter. Outside Bogdanovich. Down to five on the shot clock. And a miss there on the triple. Phoenix has gone just one of three from deep since the break. Nuaba pass to Payne. To the inside. Right wing. And there's the drive. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Hunter. Pass to Okongwu. Here's Reddish. Outside Bogdanovich. Here's a Kongwu. Charge covers. Shoots from 14. Goes back up. A Kongwu with the bucket. A Kongwu's got his second bucket on the night. That'll drive your coach crazy. Failing to box out. Ugh. And to me, this is a common theme that's running through the league right now. Guys looking to leak out rather than box out. Now here's Naba. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Johnson against Kleba. Here's Payne. It's hauled in by Reddish. Atlanta's gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Bogdanovich against Sharic. The Suns clear it. Pass to Nuaba. Hunter with some nice D. The Hawks trailing. Left side Johnson. Here's a Kongu. Bogdanovich with it. Picked up by Sharic. A beautiful setup on the alley -oop. Great catch. Great flush. Phoenix calls timeout. You could really see his squad was losing steam. Smart timeout to give them a breather. Collins, he's checked in for the Hawks. And the Suns also making a change. Hooker's checked in. A minute 35 left in the third quarter. Payne, the pass to Nuaba. Back to Payne. Now here's Sharic. He's got nine. Here's Nuaba. And again, it's the Suns missing. Still searching for his first bucket. You wonder how far ahead they'd be if he was playing anywhere near his full potential. Pass to Reddish. The kick to Hunter. For the lead! No good on the shot. The Suns leading. Outside Booker. Rebounded by the Hawks. Hunter's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Reddish. Defended by Payne. And stolen by Nuaba. And they're on the run. And the shot goes down. Nuaba's got his first basket. There's 31 seconds left in the third. Pass to Bogdanovich. 20 seconds left to play in the third quarter of basketball. Collins against Kleba. Outside Booker. From behind the arc. It doesn't go for him. And we've just finished the third quarter. What a tight game we've got going. Suns ahead. Up by three. And we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth quarter started. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm Assist of the Game. 
You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Well, making the game easy for your teammates. All about putting them in a position to score. That's pretty. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. On the court for the Suns, getting the fourth quarter going. Paul and Booker, the talented backcourt. Jay Crowder is out there with Dario Saric. And it's Nawaba in at the three, the small forward. Booker, good. And the Suns lead by five. Boy, just tremendous focus from Devin Booker on the interior. It matters not if he's facing size. Look out. Pass to Bogdanovich. Here's a Kung Wu. Five on the clock. Here's Reddish. And Booker pulls it down. Booker's got five rebounds tonight. Paul. Yes! And it's Booker with the setup. Now it's a seven-point Suns lead. Uh, how about the ability to knife inside the defense? Chris Paul has been outstanding as a dribble driver his entire career. Now here's Bogdanovich going inside. That one falls. Zero rim protection. Unforgivable in a tight ball game like this. You know, we talk about execution offensively coming down the stretch. To me, it's as important defensively, and they didn't have it. Woo! I just love that alley-oop slam, PA. Defense disorganized, defense pays. Here's Bogdanovich. Good. Five for nine shooting so far. And crunch time, trying to get the foul, the bucket, or both. Outside Booker. Pass to Nwaba. Back to Booker. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. And while it can hurt you from outside, Devin Booker has a very rounded game with his shot. The last few years, Booker has taken more mid-range jumpers. He feels comfortable pulling up from anywhere in the half court. I mean, he's learning to take whatever the defense gives him. And he makes a first. Boy, Devin Booker is just such an explosive force on the offensive end. He can take over a game each and every night he steps between the lines. Capella, he's checked in for the Hawks. Young comes in for Reddish. DeAndre Ayton, he's checked in for the Suns. Bridges comes in for Nwaba. Both free throws good from Booker. Boy, when Booker gets locked indoors, he's as deadly as they come in the NBA. Well, the list of guys who've gone for a 70-point eruption is still very short. 20 points per game for almost the entirety of his career. This guy scores with ease. I don't care what defender you send at him. Yep, that one's good. <laughs> Collecting plenty of second-chance points this half. That alone can keep a team in a game. Paul against Young. Paul passes to Bridges. The shot's good. And the Suns lead by seven. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. Pass to Bogdanovich. Now Capella. Shoots. And Booker pulls it down. Booker's got six rebounds now in the game. Young against Paul. Outside Booker. And there's the call on Devin Booker. That's foul number two for him. A great job to establish position and square up. For Atlanta, they've got three of six shots to go in this fourth quarter. Now a timeout called by Atlanta. Good idea to call timeout. It looked like the guys were getting some heavy legs out there. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Hey guys, during that last break, I heard Nate McMillan as he talked with the team. He went after his players about their poor defense in the paint, saying, quote, you're showing no fight down there. You're letting them get any shot they want, and they're feasting on us. 
Show some toughness and push back. Guys? Okay, thank you, Alec. Known for his long-range shooting, when Young gets some wiggle room, he fires with confidence. Outside Booker. Yes! And it's Paul with the assist that time. Chris Paul's got assist number 10 tonight with that last one. Young with it. Now guarded by Aiden. Paul with a steal. And the Suns pushing it up now. Again, the Suns good for two. All right, guys, what's your take on the hustle stats for the Suns? Their activity at the defensive end has been impressive. Attacking and coming away with steals. Yeah, and something else that served them well are all the turnovers they've caused and the points that have come along with those. Now here's Crowder. Back to Booker. Well, nice job crashing the glass. You'd love to see that kind of effort. And he's going for the oop here. And Collins with the slam. I would imagine it's nearly impossible to not get fired up after that play. Grant, check these guys out on the bench. Their reaction says it all. They are fired up. Now here's Paul. Outside for Booker. Shoots over Capella. Booker can't get it to go. Atlanta's gone 5 of 10 from beyond the three-point line in this game. He's covered by Aiton. Pass to Collins. There's Bogdanovich with the three. Crowder grabs the miss. Well, he had the defense's attention, dropping two threes in the first half, but he hasn't made one since. Booker, the pass to Paul, and the whistle blows. It's going to be on Trey Young. That's his third foul of the game. Pass to Bridges. Now here's Aiden. Crowder with it. Collins defending. And Crowder with the jam. Boy, I love the strong finish from Jay Crowder. He doesn't settle on the layup. Demonstrates his impressive vertical. Collins passes to Young. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Young's got nine points now in the second half. Yeah, just doing his part. Staying active and converting at a high rate. And he has really kept them in this one. The high effort level. Now the rest of the team has got to step up. Booker can't get it to go. Atlanta's gone one for two from deep in this fourth quarter. Pass to Young. Back to Bogdanovich. And here's Capella. Clock at six. The baseline, Jay, is on the way. Collins, no good. The Suns have gone seven for 11 so far in the fourth. Back to Aiden. Oh, and the jam by Aiden. And breaking out the one-hand slam. Man, an emphatic way to extend the lead a little more. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. And they pick up two. This has been the story of the game. A battle fought on offense. And it is a major disadvantage down the stretch if you can't guard. This may just come down to who has the ball last. Phoenix calls timeout. And now let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game, Chris Paul. With the way he shot the ball, he had to be the choice. His percentage was fantastic, and he's just done a great job of finding space and taking advantage of every inch the defense gives him. Now here's Booker. Now Crowder. Pass to Booker. To the middle. Up top, Bridges. Puts it up. Booker can't get it to go. The Hawks trailing. Down low. Here's Collins. Oh, rejected by Aiton. Boy, really tough to score on DeAndre Aiton. Such a patient shot blocker, guys. Bridges outside. Launches a three. Ooh, now seven for nine after that make. And trying to put the game away 
He's been nails all evening. And he hasn't forced much tonight. I love the efficiency he's giving to them. Now here's Bogdanovich. And Booker pulls it down. Booker's got eight rebounds in the game. Crowder finds Paul. Bridges with it. Up top, Aiden. Ooh, a good look from Bridges. That one falls. Eight of ten and scoring with confidence. Well, the length and skill set is a tremendous combination for Mikhail Bridges. Starting to cook a little bit. Here's Young. Sweet little floater. Young's got 25 points. Showing off with the floater game. Not a shot you can swat. Booker against Bogdanovich. And he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. They should continue to ride the hot hand. At the line for the Suns, Devin Booker, shooting one. Free throw good from Booker. And really strong at the line since the break. For Atlanta, they've gotten 8 of 16 attempted shots to go here in the fourth. Collins outside. Pass to Young. Yes, it's good. Young's got 15 points here in the second half. Well, they're not behind because of this guy. He is putting on a tremendous run. To the inside. Here's Aiton. The shot off that time. So Atlanta will take it the other way. Collins passes to Capella. Here's Young. Two points. That one goes. Young's got 29. When you're the size of Young, the floater is your friend. A nice touch, young man. Phoenix calls timeout. Good idea to call timeout. It looked like the guys were getting some heavy legs out there. Here's Paul. Pass to Aiden. Aiden draws the double to the paint. Stolen by Capella. And here is Young. He's guarded by Paul. Paul against Young. Now here's Collins. 13 feet out. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Booker's got nine rebounds now. There's a minute 45 left to play in the fourth quarter. Atlanta's got five of 11 threes to drop so far in this game. Young against Paul. With the teardrop. Bogdanovich down low. Just four to shoot. Here's Capella. Phoenix grabs the miss. They held a 12-point lead earlier. Here's Paul. Capella with a block. 103 left in the game. And the lob disrupted. Not to be. Left side Booker. Pass to Paul. Over Capella. And the Suns miss again. Here's Young. Lays it up and banks it in. Young's got 31 points. And this is why Young is a go-to guy. He can get it done even under the toughest circumstances. And they go to the intentional foul. A chance here to possibly put the game away. They have to remain focused to get it done. The kick out to Paul. Bridges outside. 
Shot clock at five. Shot to win the cold streak. And it's good on the layup. And the Suns lead by eight. Love to see that kind of activity. He just makes things happen. Now a timeout called by Atlanta. Trail by eight. 15 seconds left to play in the fourth. Guys, your thoughts? Now it's an opportunity for a teaching moment. I'm sure Coach will waste no time making his points. Well, maybe not his time, but this game is certainly finished. Let's get it over with. And here's Payne. So the Suns win it. Boy, a nice win on the road. By the time this one was winding down, this building was stone cold silent. And that's exactly what you got to do. You have to try to take the crowd out of it. And that about wraps it up. For Ali LaForce, Doris Burke, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson alongside our 2K Sports crew thanking you for watching. So long, everybody. <laughs>